Over the past four seasons, we've seen Jane the Virgin tackle so many important topics from Latinx representation to immigration to cancer to abortion to motherhood to postpartum. And you've handled every subject with such grace and such compassion. Jenny, when you set out to bring this show from script to screen, what was your overall goal for the series? I wanted to make a show where, uh, I wanted to make a joyful show. I think above all, I wanted to sh have a show where there was a heroine at the center who was good and positive and yet conflicted and complicated and, and all of that so that you can see that good people are interesting too. Um, that was part of it. I wanted, I felt a lot of pressure to make sure that the representation uh, felt good to the actors and to the rest of the team and the writing team. Um, and I wanted, uh, you know, uh, I think I wanted, I, I just wanted to authentically represent these characters and tell a lot of stories and the way that women can be different in so many ways and there's no right or wrong. I wanted to be able to talk about things with compassion and with empathy. Um, you know, it, it's just all been so much more than I could have expected. And, um, you know, we always wanted to talk about immigration and that was the reason that the family was gonna be Venezuelan and not Puerto Rican as Yvonne and, is and Gina and Andrea, because we wanted to talk about that and it was such, it's such a critical, uh, it's the foundation of our country. And I think just as we continued on and the world changed, uh, we became more, you know, our, our mission and what we wanted to say became even more urgent mm -hmm. and um, even more important and we wanted to make, uh, sure that, the, that we were showing complicated, interesting, conflicted, good people and what they offer, what this family offers, um, and, and really just have a, a positive and complicated representation and, and centering it around um, these faces, I think mm -hmm. um, has just allowed, uh, I, I hope has just increased the possibilities. Yes. Um, and Gina has always talked to me about how if you see yourself, it just opens up what you think that you are capable of. And that's really stuck with me in such a central way. And, and um, I hope that it's added to that, that conversation. Oh, it definitely yeah. has. <laughs> well, and, well, and thank you so much, because that Honestly. leads me into my next topic, which is, of course, fans have fallen head over heels for the Villanueva family. <laughs> because we've gotten to see three generations of strong, beautiful, fierce Latina women. Yeah. <laughs> who have supported each other so fiercely. Um, Andrea and Gina, and uh, Yvonne's not here, obviously, but can you please speak about the connection that the three of you found together and, and what that means for you to represent the Latina community for this? Oh, this is my mama right here. <laughs> mama in the house? <laughs> Still. <laughs> Gosh, it means so much to me because for me growing up, I, I saw strong Latina women hold the household together. <laughs> that to me, that was the model that I grew up with, but I didn't see that reflected in media. And so for me, you know, just I knew when I started acting that I had the odds stacked against me. I knew that I wasn't fitting into the popular type. And I knew that my story wasn't being told at the time when I first started in the business. But um, I had a calling, so I had to show up. And I'm so glad that I did, because I did almost quit acting, by the way. <laughs> I never, never told you this. And if I had, I, I would not have been part of, of Jane the Virgin and representing. And the women in my family say to me, my god, we love the show. We feel like we're being seen. We've, we've been seen. Yeah. <laughs> Gina, anything you'd like to add about the ladies of the Villanueva family? Oh, these women just are the most incredible women to be around. I, I, just to echo what Andrea said, in my household, I have been raised by such strong women. So it's lovely to continue to be around them, be inspired by them, be um, advised by them, be protected and loved by them. It's pretty fantastic. I feel very, very lucky. <laughs> yeah.